in today's machine learning class we will see the issues in machine learning from first unit and some of the issues are inadequate training data which is otherwise called as uh, insufficient training data, poor quality of data, non representative training data, overfitting and underfitting, monitoring and maintenance, getting bad recommendations, lack of skilled resources, customer segmentation, process complexity of machine learning and data bias and we will see all those things one by one in today's class. In the modern world, the machine learning is actually dominating in each and every industry and which helps the organization to make more informed and data driven choices and those choices are more effective when compared to classical methodologies. Okay, though it is having very big advantages, it is also having some problems also which cannot be ignored, right? And here are some of the common issues in machine learning technologies that professional face, that is the developers face to train the machine learning skills and create an application from scratch, right? And let us see those problems one by one. The first one is inadequate training data that is insufficient training data otherwise okay the major issue is lack of quality as well as quantity of data that means in any machine learning model we need to train the machine learning algorithm or model by using training data isn't it so the training data should be of sufficient quantity as well as the required quality then only we have to train the model very well right uh, the data plays very vital role in the processing of machine learning algorithm but inadequate data, noisy data and unclean data are very big issues in modeling machine learning algorithm. Right? Suppose if the data is not proper that means the training data should be error free, error free data and 100% correct data and the required quantity also sufficient that should be sufficient then only the model should give the correct result. For example, a very simple task requires thousands of samples okay? and the advanced uh, task like the speech recognition or image recognition those advanced tasks requires millions of sample data. Okay, then only the model will train efficiently then that will produce the correct result. So like data quantity, the data quality is also very important. Okay, that is the training data quality is also very important. Suppose if noisy data includes in the training data then the model will produce inaccurate prediction. The prediction will be not accurate, right? So it affects the decision making and classification task. Okay? So we have to avoid the noisy data. Suppose if the incorrect data includes incorrect data that is error data otherwise okay? then the program uh, will produce the faulty output. The output will be wrong. The output will be wrong. Okay? So hence incorrect data may affect the accuracy of result also. Right? And the third one is generalization of output data. Generalizing the output. The output should be specialized one. Okay? So the generalizing output data becomes very complex. Very complex which results the comparatively poor future action. Okay? So for particular uh, problem only we are generating the model machine learning model isn't it so the output should be specialized one if it is generalizing means uh, then the accuracy will be very much reduced hence the noisy data incomplete data inaccurate data and the unclean data which are the error data that will reduce the quality of data which leads inaccuracy in classification and low quality results will be produced by the model right hence the data quality can also be considered as a major common problem okay in machine learning model right the third one is non representative training data 
While training uh, algorithm, we need to ensure that the sample training data, the sample training data must be representative of new case um, that we need to generalize. Okay, the training data should be the representative data. Okay, that means the training data must cover all cases or all classes of data. Right? If there is less training data, if there is less training data which does not cover all the classes, okay, then there will be a sampling noise in the model. Then this is called the non-representative training set. This is called as non-representative training set. That is, if we are using non-representative training set to train a model, it results less accurate prediction. Right? The output will not be accurate. The next one is overfitting and underfitting. First, let us see the overfitting. Okay, it refers a model that models the training data too well. Okay, so this is good fit, and when compared to good fit, the overfit trains the model too well. Okay, that means it consider all the noise in the training data also. Okay, the result is negatively impact the performance of model. The performance of this model will goes down. Okay, so this is called as overfitting. The opposite to overfitting is called as underfitting. Okay, underfitting means it does not learn enough from the given data, from the training data. Okay, hence the machine cannot capture uh, the underlying trend of the data. Okay, so when compared to good fit, see, the result of underfitting. So, the machine does not learn uh, from the training data. Monitoring and maintenance. We know very well that the quality of output is uh, highly important in any machine learning model. For this, the regular monitoring and maintenance is necessary. Isn't it? Because it uh, the machine learning model is depending on the data. The data may changes very rapidly because day by day the volume of data will get increased, isn't it? Hence, the different actions may produce different results. See for that, the editing of code as well as the resources for monitoring, the resources which are required for monitoring also uh, required and the monitoring is very important here. And next one is getting bad recommendations. The machine learning model operates under specific context. Under specific context, if it is not yet updated, then the result is bad recommendation. Okay, that is the recommendation model should understand the interest of user on specific time. On specific time, because time to time the customer requirement may be changed. Okay, so the system should understand their interest on specific time. If it is not, then the machine learning algorithm still showing the same recommendations to the same consumer. Okay, but the consumer expectation have been changed. Isn't it? So, this is called as bad recommendation and this occurs the data drift. That is, initially uh, the model accuracy is like this, but over time, the interest got changed, so it is important to update the uh, customer's interest. Accordingly, the recommendation system should recommend the required product to the consumer. Here, the machine learning and artificial intelligence are continuously growing in the market, but still, those two technology are dominating with the, only the freshers when compared to other markets. Right? Here, the absence of skilled resources, including the manpower, is also a very big issue, right? Here, uh, we need a manpower. They are having in-depth knowledge of mathematics, science, and technologies for developing and managing the scientific substance of machine learning technology, right? So, lack of skilled resources is another problem in machine learning. Next one is customer segmentation. This is another important issue in machine learning algorithm because 
in the business marketing segmenting customer in the proper way is highly important okay so an algorithm is required to recognize the cons that is customer behavior and trigger a relevant recommendation for the user based on the past experience based on the past experience so we need to monitor the behavior of customer accordingly we need to segregate or segment the customers the next one is process complexity and machine learning though the machine learning and artificial intelligence are dominating current technology still they are in experimental phase and continuously changing time to time isn't it and maximum of algorithms are only in trial and error basis and what is the result the result of uh, the probability of error rate is higher than expected the error rate will get increased because there is no fixed model everything will be in trial and error only in the, it also includes analyzing the data removing data bias training data applying complex mathematical calculations etc making the procedure more complicated the last one is data bias so the data bias exist when certain elements of data set are heavily weighted or need more importance than others okay so only few data items are frequently accessed that is the equal of weightage is not given to the data set then the data bias will occurs this leads the inaccurate result skewed outcomes and other analytical errors so far we have seen various issues in machine learning from first unit and this is the last topic in the chapter introduction to machine learning from the next class we will move to preparing to model chapter that is the next chapter of first unit right and for more information please go through our textbook and for frequent updation please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon thank you